I have the privilege of hosting our Veterans Voices special that airs every year in November. It highlights our local heroes who proudly served our nation. My favorite story of 2023 comes from that special. It's a love story. A wife who suffered great loss is making sure the greatness of her husband is remembered. When you take a trip through the heart of Derider, look up and you'll see its heart. This small village in Madison County knows how to salute its hometown heroes. Good. Yeah. Leading this mission is Sean Roser Warren. Should we leave him up through Veterans Day? Or? No, it's probably a good idea. Okay. Everything she does is in honor of veterans and a loving tribute to her veteran. <laughs> Kit Warren joined the Marines right out of high school and served his country from 1971 to 73. He was very proud to be a veteran. And Sean was proud to be his wife for 35 years. We were a great team. Everything we did together just was turned out so beautiful. Including these banners. They got the idea while traveling through Pennsylvania. But Kit never got the chance to see them fly. On the evening of June 15th, 2021, while on a bike ride with friends, Kit Warren was killed by a hit and run driver. He was 67 years old. And I do remember the two state police officers um, looking at me and saying, we're so sorry for your loss. And my response was, he was my everything. Sean has taken her anger and sadness and turned it into honor. Mm -hmm. The projects for veterans the Warren started as a couple are now being completed as a community. The month before Kit passed, the couple was working in the cemetery when Sean looked over at the Veterans Memorial. I noticed it was looking a little shabby. It went from just a new flagpole to a complete makeover. Every step of the way, helping yes. hands. I know that uh, you started this after Kit passed. Does it feel like he's part of this project? Yes, it does. Yeah, I can, I can see him smiling right down at us right now. Indoor Rider, Ryan Dean, News Channel 9.